David Peterson is a recent promotion from the lower ranks as he toes the slab going into today's game. So stepping in is Michael Taylor. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder. Now here it comes. Michael A. Taylor. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Matty, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Now we'll step that's off and rethink off. this. Hunter. Alberto. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. As he'll take a look at ball one. Comes into his first at bat at 283. Four home runs, 26 RBIs. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. And that one yanked just foul. One out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Now another one, two. And he takes strike three called. Back to back strikeouts here to open the home first two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Whit Merrifield next to hit. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half it's 0 and 1 trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Here we go guys let's go. And this is chopped foul at the plate he's in the hole now down 0 and 2. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. Trying to strike out the side here it is. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. KC down in order. We are still scoreless. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. The designated hitter. Jorge. Fouled off. Soler. The wind up and the 0 1. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left handed batters. Hunter Dozier is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Florio is there now and he has it two gone. Next it'll be Ryan O'Hearn and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Ball one to start the at bat. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. Bottom of the second here with no score. 
And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. To two and two now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. On the ground to second for Torres. Scooped up. Throw to first beats him easily, and the side is retired. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Fouled away. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And that's through for a hit. Santana will take the turn and head for second now. And the Royals are going to get a man into scoring position right away on the leadoff double. The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in his zone gets him to hit it on the ground. But obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. Now into the box Cam Gallagher and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah great RBI opportunity here but at the very least he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. A ball and a strike. Santana leads off second with nobody out. Hit on the ground out to short. And that's the first out. So now here is Nicky Lopez looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Right through it here and he's behind 0 and 1. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he fouls this one off. High in the air out to center field. Florio is there, two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Striding in is Michael Taylor, runner in scoring position with two gone. And it's fouled away. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Now a long throw home. The tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. One left for Kansas City. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Stepping in, Hanser Alberto. He set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And now the first pitch. Alberto. The wind up and the 0 1. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0 2, 1 and 2, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Digging in next, Whit Merrifield struck out in his last trip to the plate. Here's the first pitch to him. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. 
Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Merrifield oh. behind, a ball and two strikes. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now, just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Jorge Soler is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Fouled off. O2 delivery. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Torres picks it up. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Royals go down one, two, three, through four. Still tied, nothing, nothing. Hunter Dozier digging in now. Flyed out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. A swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. The next one two pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for team ERA and you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. So now into the box is Ryan O'Hearn. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on the way. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that. That pitch, unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Now the first pitch. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ballgame. And that one ends the inning. Case. 
bottom of the inning now. And next to hit is the catcher, Cam Gallagher. The catcher, Cam Gallagher. Now the first pitch. And a strike called at the letters. Look high to me, but it's nothing in one. Called strike 0 and 2. Let's see if he tries to climb a ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Up next to the board. Stepping in now, Nicky Lopez. Fouled away. Lopez. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Faces are empty. One man out. Slider laid off for a ball. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Up next, Michael Taylor singled in his last at bat. The center fielder, Michael. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. A bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Leading up for the Royals. And now the first pitch. Hunter. Hunter Alberto is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Strike taken up in the zone. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's another. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. The right field, number 15. With Merrifield next to bat. Merrifield. Popped him up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. In is Jorge Soler. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First delivery to him. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, He's going to probably call a meeting after this. The wind up and the 0 1. Swung on and missed. That's strike two. 
so far this has been a terrific outing for this guy throwing well keeping his pitches to a minimum locating his fastball to both sides of the a swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it KC down in order they trail it bottom of inning number eight set to go and that'll bring up Hunter Dozier the third baseman Hunter Dozier first pitch of the A.B. now now a swing and he pops him up right up the chute this may be tough behind the plate and he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. And now Ryan O'Hearn over two for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. This is why the manager pencils these guys in, in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Wow, this guy has been on top of it today. Pushing the throttle and pulling it when he needs to. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And there are two away now. Here's Carlos Santana now. One for two with a double on his line thus far. And it's 0 and 1 to the Kansas City first baseman. I know closers are known for having the nastiest stuff on the team. Exploding fastballs, devastating off speed. But they'd be lying if they didn't say they wanted a two run, three run lead. That's exactly what this guy has a chance to do. Hand it to that monster in the ninth with a two run lead. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and now it'll be the catcher, Cam Gallagher. The catcher, Cam. Hit on the ground out to short. Turner has it. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Next to hit, Nicky Lopez. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Now the 1 0. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss there, and it's two and two. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Michael Taylor. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. A ball and a strike. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, 
I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night, changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. And he will make the catch with ease, and the Yankees continue the role they've been on. Seven straight victories now as this ball game is over. He really made a splash in his first game with the big club today. It was nothing but zeros on the